welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you 11 foods that I think are absolutely essential to keep in your fridge or pantry while you're following Weight Watchers. Most of these foods are zero point foods, um, but I just kind of wanted to go into more depth about different ways to use each food. Um, so even if you're not following Weight Watchers, you might pick up some little healthy tips along the way in this video. So the first thing that I always make sure I have in my fridge is plain Greek yogurt. Most plain Greek yogurts with no added sugar are zero points following Weight Watchers. So generally I tend to have a tub of this for breakfast with some fresh fruit um, and some cinnamon on top or sometimes I'll even have a tub as a snack. Um, you can even use this as a substitute for sour cream. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head how many points sour cream is. Obviously by replacing a dollop of this instead of sour cream you're saving yourself a couple of points. Sometimes when I'm feeling like a sweet dessert I will make a really yummy, I don't know if you guys have heard of the dessert called Eton Mess, it's like a dessert made with cream and uh, berries and meringue. Well I substitute the cream for this so I just use a tub of this and put it into like a nice fancy glass and then I will add in some fresh berries like uh, raspberries and then um, I buy some of those pre-made little meringue mini meringue um, I don't know if they're shells they kind of look like little triangles um, anyway I buy some of those and I believe for 10 single ones it's only two points so I just crush in 10 of the little mini meringues into the yogurt with the berries and mix it all around and what happens the sweetness from the meringue just turn the yogurt into this really beautiful sweet but tangy dessert and it's honestly really yummy so there's so many ways that you can use uh, plain Greek yogurt following Weight Watchers. Next up is the humble banana. I have never eaten so many bananas in my life since joining Weight Watchers. So bananas are zero points. Generally I tend to have a banana for breakfast and um, I just chop it up into my yogurt. <laughs> if you're in a rush in the morning and you're leaving the house these are just so convenient to grab and like put in your handbag if you have a big handbag. <laughs> um, yeah, just to have as a snack during the day. Another great option is to have a teaspoon of peanut butter, which I believe is one or two points. Peanut butter and bananas just kind of go hand in hand together. They taste so good. Um, so sometimes I'll slice up the banana and then add a little bit of peanut butter to it and it just makes a nice healthy snack. You can also make banana pancakes with bananas. Um, sometimes I even put them on my porridge. Oh. The best way to make porridge in the morning, get yourself about 30 to 40 grams of oats and put them in a bowl and then cover them with warm water and thinly slice your banana and put that on top and then put it in the microwave with the banana already on top and what happens is the banana goes really like warm and gooey and mushy and it just adds this whole like new dimension to your porridge it just makes the porridge taste amazing then sprinkle over some cinnamon and you just have a super healthy breakfast next up we have eggs eggs are zero points once again and obviously eggs just make a really great snack sometimes I will boil a whole bunch and just keep them in the fridge just to nibble on when I'm hungry um, you can also make yummy omelets with these for dinner they're good to have for breakfast you can make um, you can make like scrambled eggs and put them on some toast. You could poach your eggs. And I find I use a lot of eggs when I'm baking. So I make this amazing two point banana bread and I um, yeah add eggs into that. So yeah, I always make sure I have eggs on hand because I'm just constantly reaching for them. Next is olive oil spray. The reason I'm mentioning olive oil spray is because it's so easy to control your portion sizing. So with regular olive oil, one teaspoon of this I believe is one point, but one tablespoon is six points. So if for instance one day you're cooking dinner and you pour you think you're going to pour a tiny bit of olive oil into a pan but you accidentally do a big dollop you've added six points to your day which is crazy but with this there's no way you can kind of overestimate your portion sizing because it's just it's just a spray um off the top of my head i think 
a little spray is zero points and then two or three spray sprays is one point so yeah that's just a little tip for you guys is to pick up a can of olive oil spray rather than having the drizzle of olive oil because it's just a lot easier to control your portion size and um, in saying that you will save a lot of points if you're heavy-handed with the olive oil next is stevia i am obsessed with liquid stevia i have one of these in my handbag i um i don't have one at my mom's house but i'm going to buy one and keep one at my mom's house i have two here but yeah this is just basically a natural sweetener so there's no nasty chemicals in it if you love your tea and coffee and you like it sweet and you say you have four cups of coffee or tea a day and you add a teaspoon of sugar into each one one teaspoon of sugar is one point following Weight Watchers so you can see how the points will add up if you just add a couple of drops of this it just makes your tea and coffee taste so sweet and beautiful <laughs> um, a lot of people said it takes a while for them to get used to the taste but I I don't know I instantly liked it and I think I like it because it's all natural if you're using an artificial sweetener like equal I highly suggest you try and find yourself some stevia because equal is full of nasty chemicals that your body doesn't need but stevia is like I mentioned several times is all natural and you don't just have to use it in your tea or in coffee you can use it to sweeten up um, things when you're baking you could even add it to your tribani yogurt um, I find this is quite tart so just if you add a little bit it sweetens it up I'm just always constantly reaching for my stevia so I just wanted to include that in this video cauliflower there are so many things you can do with cauliflower obviously you can just steam or boil it and have it as like a side dish you can also make uh, rice out of it so cauliflower rice I believe one half sorry half a cup of boiled rice is three points whereas half a cup of cauliflower rice is zero points so you can save your Self some points using cauliflower you could also mash it up and make like a cauliflower mash um, to substitute potatoes because obviously potatoes are pointed you can even actually make a pizza dough with cauliflower I can't remember off the top of my head how to do it but I'll try and find a recipe and link it below while we are on the topic of veggies another veggie that I like to have on hand is pumpkin pumpkin is actually zero points I think because potatoes are pointed I just automatically thought the pumpkin would be pointed but no it's zero points and there's there's quite a lot of things you can do with pumpkin as well like the cauliflower you can boil it and then mash it up and use it as a like mashed potato substitute which is really nice my favorite thing that I've recently just started doing is cutting it into little like chip size pieces and then popping it into my air fryer and making pumpkin chips which are amazing another thing you can do is cut them into little chunks and then what I do is put them on a baking paper spray over some olive oil spray to control your portion um, and then I add seasoning so I add pepper salt smoked paprika and bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes and you get these really yummy chunks of pumpkin that you can add to your salad or um, yeah use as a side dish and of course I nearly forgot you can also make yummy pumpkin soup I have a really yummy pumpkin soup recipe on this channel um, which will which I'll link below but yeah just so many things you can do with a pumpkin so I always keep a pumpkin in the fridge or the pantry next we have dates I only just recently found out that dates are zero points so I've recently been buying dates every week now what you can do with dates they make a great snack so you could put a few into like a little container and um, take them with you to work and have them as a snack they also make a really good natural sweetener um, so if you're baking you could add dates into like the batter to make the batter a bit sweeter they even go really nicely in porridge so if you chop them up a little bit into little chunks and then stir them through your porridge they um, work as adding a natural sweetness to your porridge I just thought because I didn't know dates were zero points some of you might not realize as well so I just thought I would include this in this video um, and yeah they, they taste yummy I don't know how they could be zero points because I don't know I just feel like they taste so good <laughs> next we have oats now oats these aren't zero points 
For every 10 grams of oats is one point. So generally I will have 30 to 40 grams of oats um, when I when I have oats. <laughs> Obviously the main thing with oats, what you can make is porridge. I love having porridge in the morning with oats and um, the banana and dates, it's really like satisfying. So for 40 grams is obviously four points. You can also make this really yummy mug muffin. If you haven't tried a mug muffin, you're missing out. Um, they're so easy to make. All you do is grab a banana and mash it up into a mug. Then you add 30 grams of oats to the mug. Um, add one egg and you can add, sometimes I add frozen raspberries um, or dates and just mix it all together. Pop it in the microwave for 90 seconds and you have this really yummy it tastes like a banana muffin but in a mug. It's such a good breakfast to have or you could even have it as a snack. You can also substitute flour with oats. So if you whiz these up in like a blender and make them into like a fine powder, you can use this as flour. You can also use these to make some oat cookies. You could make granola with this. You could make those little bliss balls with this. Um, oh, you can even make a really nice like crumble to add to some soft fruit. Sometimes I'll put an apple in the microwave to soften it up a little bit and then I get some of this, add a little bit of coconut oil to it and some cinnamon and then sprinkle that on top of the apples and then put it in the oven for about 10 to 20 minutes and you get like this really nice healthy apple crumble um, as a dessert. Um, so yeah, there's so many things you can do with oats, so I always make sure I just have a big pack in my pantry at all times. So next we have tin tuna. With tin tuna, make sure you do get the tuna that's in spring water because I made the mistake of getting the tuna with olive oil and I think it turned out to be something like four points, whereas the tuna in, in spring water is zero points. Um, again, so many things you can do with tuna. You can just eat it like plain as a snack. You can add it to a salad and have a nice tuna salad. You could add it to an omelette. Another thing that I've been doing recently is making a tuna pasta with it. So just getting a nice like passata sauce, adding spices and then a tin of tuna and adding it to some pasta or zucchini noodles. Uh, that's really nice. You can even make wraps or sandwiches or tuna melts. Oh, tuna melts are so good. <laughs> uh, they are a little bit higher in points, but if you have a few extra points to use, I highly recommend making a tuna melt. <laughs> so all you do to make it is get a slice of bread, um, put it in the grill for like a minute to toast it up, then turn the bread over, add some tuna, a little bit of chopped onion, and then make sure you measure out a serving of cheese and then put it back in the grill and the cheese like goes all gooey and it just, yeah, you just have this really yummy tuna melt sandwich. So yeah, so many things you can do with tuna. Um, that's why I wanted to bring that up. And last but not least is chickpeas. Chickpeas you can do so much with. I like to add chickpeas to soups in winter. You can also make a really yummy chickpea curry. They also just make like a nice filler. So if you're making a stew or curry or soup, um, you can add chickpeas to them. And again, because they're zero points, they just kind of bulk out your food. You can even make like little chickpeas um, chips. Is that the word they are? I don't know if they're chips. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. But you basically just drain the chickpeas and pop them onto a baking tray. Add a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil and some spices and then pop them in the oven. And what happens is the chickpeas go really nice and crunchy and golden. And they just make a really nice little snack to nibble on, which again, if you add oil, you'd have to add your points to the oil, but it's like a really low point snack to make. You can even whiz these up and make like a really nice hummus with them. So yeah, just lots of different ways you can use chickpeas. There are so many other foods that I could include in this video, but this video would just go on forever. So I just wanted to pick my favorite 11 things that I think if you're following Weight Watchers, you know, they'd be helpful for you to have on hand. So I hope you all have found this video helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up for me and don't forget to share it with your friends if you think it might help them as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again in my next video.